Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. And we are here back at Kragwa's Burrow. Good to see that the uh, Loa is safe and sound. Come closer, young one. The Krogling makes some strange squeaking sounds and scuffs his feet on the lily pad. Kragwa and the young Krogling seem to be communicating. Now, this is the aftermath from the quest in the last episode. Kragwa nods at your companion. I see. Swindlegear, there is nothing I can do to change him back. He will have a better life with you. Keep him with you. Keep him safe. You speak to Kragwa? This young one is no longer one of them. But... He can never be one of us. Take care of him. Thank you, Swindlegear. Dart. May you catch fresh flies. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, thank you. I will be all about catching those fresh flies. Well, that's cool. We get a nice little mini pet. Let's go ahead and give him a look-see. See you back here in a second, Smee. Dart. Oh, whoops, I guess we have to summon him. There we go. And... Oh, look at the little guy. That'd be a really... That's actually a really cute pet for, like, a demon hunter. Or a warlock. Well, that's cool. I think my demon hunter has a nice little uh, pet now. Yeah, I got someone with bat wings who would love to uh, give you a good home. Good deal. Okay, Smee. Now it's time for us to head back to the hollow. To talk to Talanji, because every time we head over there to... Ooh, treasure chest! We get distracted. By, like, new quests. But I think we're pretty much done with this area. We've killed we've killed almost everything. And Gotum, the frogman. How you do it, man? Holy crap. Are those Oh, they're mounts. Three hundred and thirty-three thousand three hundred and thirty-three gold. And that's with the uh with our goblin discount, maybe. Yeah, I'm a bit low. Still, that's awesome. <laughs> Be seeing Having a big old frog mount. That'd be cool if there was like a random chance that a mount or something would be in one of those chests. Other than Swindle Gear's inherent greed, if I were be if I was playing with anyone else, any of my other characters, I would. Whoa, that yeah, was an impressive jump. Um, people would be all about those treasure chests if there was like a very slim chance that there'd be some sort of mount or cool toy that came out of them. Ooh, okay, got a little bit of a rough area to get to before we get to the hollow. I will be right back, guys. All right, back to Gloom Hollow. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything ah, else to there you oh. are. I just heard Mutamba's report. It seems you two had quite an adventure. I've had a lot of adventures, to tell you the God's honest. And we don't have any mail or anything? Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to the princess and see where we go from here. Times change, and so must the Zandalari. Ready for action. Naga, you say? Sounds like quite the crisis there. I'm glad you were able to get things back together. Kragwa will make a powerful ally in the coming battle. When the blood trolls are defeated, I have no doubt Mini Zandalari will come to worship him. Loa, watch over you. And last... Ooh, what a pretty wolf mount. Fine, go. I have things to do. Uh, something you should look into. You've got time anyway. Those goblins aren't ready yet. There's a statue nearby, only it's not a statue to the trained Tortolani. It's a deactivated Titan Keeper. 
Noises have been coming from that thing ever since you helped Kragwa. It must be trying to reactivate itself. I bet that titan-looking amulet of yours could help restart it. We'd be unstoppable against the blood trolls with a titan keeper's help. Go see if you can restart this titan. Examine the deactivated titan keeper outside of Gloom Hollow. Keep it down. I love the we'll fact trade that stories next time. he still has the turtle on his head. Have any good stories? Okay, it's just north of us. This is a busy area. Interest. Oh, that was an alliance guy who just run by. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like underground or submerged or anything. <laughs> no, not the case. Just a, uh... Aw, oh, cool. In full, uh... Like Aztec or Incan... Mayan kind of vibe. Blood of Azeroth detected. Request installation of missing data, data core. Ah, okay, I guess this is the uh, core. This data core hums with ancient power. Several cracks mar its side, and this object has seen better days. Titan Keeper Hezro rebooted. Protocol contain rampant corruption within Nazmir. Task impossible due to damaged systems. Okay, so what do we do then? Core detected. Appreciation for retrieval. Your aid is required. We must begin. <laughs> okay. Recovering remnants, corrupted earth, how to repair a titan keeper. Scan of area indicates roaming spirits clad in armor plating. Purpose, defensive structure, animated by corruption. Detecting remnants of titan plating within spirits' armor. Request, recover remnants. Titan, oh, titan keeper Hezrel capable of breaking down titan plating to reforge into weapon against forces drawn by corruption. Recover 25 Titan Plating from Nazwathan Spectres. Oh, now we head into Nazwatha. Corrupted Earth. Unacceptable levels of corruption detected nearby. Scans indicate vegetation affected by corruption. All corruption must be eradicated. Request. Destroy any vegetation affected by corruption. Destroy 12 blood-infused lashers. And how to repair a Titan Keeper. Major system repair possible within nearby structure. Preliminary goal, repair auxiliary systems. Scans detect three fallen Titan Keepers. Recover cores. Titan Keeper Hezrel able to retrieve data from cores. Titan Keeper Hezrel goal, reboot auxiliary systems. Reach nearby structure. Restore all primary systems and seal corruption. Result, corruption contained. Titan Keeper Hezrel able to aid against blood trolls. Blood Troll's definition, not found in databanks. Recover Titan data cores from fallen Titan Keepers. Okay, you got it, big Objective guy. Objective cleared. Moving to forward position. Deliver completion to new location. Will do. Alright, ah, uh, okay, so he'll head up to Nazwatha. And we'll take care of that because we've actually finished most of Nazmir. So I think once we're done with this, that the he'll be the firepower that we need to uh, take out that construct that the blood trolls are cooking up. And blood infused lashers die, and Spectre dies. There are strange marks all over this plating. Perhaps they mean something to keep her Hezrel. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Titan tech is a bit out of my uh, engineering knowledge. All I know is that it's expensive and people will pay a lot for it. Which I am quite happy about. Alright, let's get that slice and dice up. At least the drop rate on the plating... Seems pretty good. And 
and shrink. No drop from the plant life. And that is, was, Typer, Ty, Titan Keeper Bulkin. Hey, you know what? You keep your shield bashing to yourself. You ain't no tank. At least you're not a good one. Oh, look at him stuck in the Superman pose. Looks like he's about to... Error. Intrusion de detected. Corruption release imminent. Activating se se security protocols. Eliminate intruder. Okay, this 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 was not in the briefing. And not in the briefing. Just just saying. Stick and move, stick and move. No. I will throw dirt in your face. I'll also do that to you. And no holy wave. No holy wave. Ow. This data core appears, or the data core is much lighter than it appears. What exactly is stored within it? I don't. A Titan's internet history? Mm -hmm. No telling. Okay, let's go ahead and say hello to these guys. Say hello to these guys. And take out all the plant life at the same time. We good? Almost. And just two more to go there. Lasher Toxin. Movement speed reduced by 45%. Reanimated monstrosity. Ooh. And we need 15 more pieces of plating. So let's hope that the drop rate for these guys is re remains decent. The green. I did not know that thing. Oh, they're walking all around Naz Watha, aren't they? Ooh, respawn. Ancient Jawbreaker. Alrighty. That sounds interesting. <laughs> Ed, Ed, and Eddie intensifies. Because they were all obsessed about Jawbreakers, weren't they? Or at least, um... Yeah, that was like their currency. That's what they always, that's what they always wanted to, uh earn cash for so they could procure those jawbreakers. I remember when I was younger I grabbed a uh, tech I, from a store in a mall in Lubbock, Texas. I got a Texas sized jawbreaker that I had for about a year. It's like I would try and work on it realize that it was a fool's errand and then like put it in the fridge and pick it up later and then eventually I ended up breaking it with a hammer because it just was not it just wasn't going to uh, be defeated anytime soon. So I had to break out the heavy artillery. Well, let's get one more piece of plating. Oh wait, we also need to get Keeper Shavra's core. And we'll see what that jawbreaker is. He's like, let's go get the Jawbreaker, Double D. That's a good show. I didn't watch a lot of it, but uh, I know it's looked at very, very fondly. I think I was kind of, I'd grown out of cartoons, or at least most cartoons back at that point when Ed, Ed and Eddie came out. But uh, I know a lot of people look at a, look back on it about as fondly as I look back at like the original Ren and Stimpy. So that's good. And apparently it's it, it's got some subtlety to it that a lot of people enjoy. And this is fairly dangerous. Hey, how you doing? Bye. Alright. Jawbreaker. 
actually didn't mind. I didn't mean to say bye in that tone. <laughs> Where does that come from? Can anyone let me know in the comments? Because I occasionally watch streamers and when they say bye, they say bye. Is that from like a TV show or something? Because that's kind of out of my my sphere of influence. And we got a monstrosity. Oh, okay. There's a big old crocodile. Grouches brood. Hmm. So I wonder who Gruesh is. We'll probably find out here before too much longer. And here we go. Doing good. Oh, venomous jaw. That's disgusting. Imagine if alligators had a venomous bite like a snake. That would be kind of terrifying. No, that wouldn't be kind of. That would be terrifying. Yeah, you keep that venomous jaw to yourself. I don't mind the tendon rip so much. Repost. And down you go. Right in the nick of time. Incessantly ticking clock. <laughs> nice. Sp springy eyeball or springy eyeball. Your spells and abilities have a chance to grant you 288 haste or mastery for 6 seconds. 273. Oh, it's not an upgrade! I love the Peter Pan reference, though. Dun 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 dun. That is a trash pile. Hello there, mysterious trash pile. I'm not seeing you on the tracking, though. That's strange. Hey. Okay, Smee. Let's see what's uh, what's going on here. Hey, hey, hey. hey Abby, how are you? Greetings, or Johnny. Rich man. Eh, nothing Where new. Go? Can I be happy? Well, that's a shame. I guess we did everything that we needed to do over here. Titan plating required. Eh, titan plating provided. Sufficient titan plating will begin forging process once functionality is restored. Vegetation corruption reduced to an acceptable level. Insert data cores. Eh, you know what, how about you go ahead and insert them yourself. Cores recovered. Data validation and merge will begin shortly. Upgrading auxiliary systems. Please stand by. Bone procession. Partial Un restoration successful. Must continue forward to repair containment for corruption. Bone procession. Massive corruption yeah. surrounding nearby structure. Immediate action required. Yeah, I see another quest over there. Undead entities influenced by corruption surround nearby structure. Impossible to approach. Plan required. Calculating. Plan achieved. Large creatures designated reanimated monstrosities focal gathering point of corruption. Take Titan weapon forged from plating recovered. Use it to weaken monstrosity and collect bones. Will run process to destroy bones. Prevent creation of further monstrosities. We can reanimate monstrosities with the Titan Manipulator and collect 15 of their bones. For a 286 Potency Manipulator. Unwelcome Undead. Corruption reanimating dead creatures nearby. Morphing into monstrosities. Must be stopped. Cannot kill all, but can reduce numbers. Reduced numbers equates to less corruption outside of containment. Destroy undead and surrounding area. Keeper Hezrel's systems will continue rebooting while you do so. Reboot goal. Recover data regarding nature of corruption. Kill 15 Naswatha undead.
And we'll go ahead and start here. So I guess the corruption just hit this place harder than most others. Defiled bone. You see a strange blood orb that emanates whispers or emanates whispers of suffering and destructions or destruction. These must be the source of energy for whatever corruption Hezrel is hunting. They appear easy enough to destroy. You can see more of these orbs around the temple grounds. Perhaps destroying them will help to weaken the corruption in the area. Destroy four corrupted energy. <clears throat> Ooh, treasure chest. I see you. Yoink. That's one. Ooh. Aw, look at the little guy. <laughs> I, saw him go I saw him on the way. I was like, oh, okay, better. Better use the item. Yet another piece of hardware that I would like to have with me on a regular basis that I cannot do for whatever reason. Life ain't fair. It seems that the undead here are relatively squishy, which I appreciate. Either that or just my combos and Proking is a little bit better than normal. I guess I could go ahead and probably get them in some groups. And have some AoE fun times. Yeah, you know what? AoE fun times. We'll see what happens. I think it would be amazing if I did, if we had our blade flurry up, and when I hit the, um, what is it? When I hit the between the eyes, it stunned everyone. Oh. That'd be so annoying for PvP. Be like, delicious. And there you go, little guy. It'd be hilarious if they still had their their big damage abilities, they were just tiny. Okay, got three more corruption orbs to deal with. Whoops. I got saw. And good, the, the orbs just kind of... I, I didn't know whether they were channeling the orbs. But now we know, and hello there, Faceless Corruptor. You'll probably be next up in our quest. I would bet you. When dealing with corruption, it's usually best to destroy anything that has tentacles. Yeah, sorry, Octopi. Can't be too careful. Okay, monstrosity bones have been recovered. And we need five more undead. We've got three here and our last orb. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Which I'm thankful for. Because once we're done with Nazmir, we can actually start not catching up, but... Nazwathan Relic. So ancient and tarnished. Surely someone would love this for their collection. Ooh. Okay. A guttural voice whispers. What is it you have there, rich man? A shiny trinket for old Johnny? Bring it closer. Eh. I, I, I don't wanna. <laughs> I guess we don't get a choice in the matter, though. Try and remember where we found that trash pile. I think it was, yeah, it was on the other side of the pyramid. Boy. I thought we were done. It was a horrible lie. And two more. Eh, you know what? Let's go ahead and 
Get that treasure chest. Dun 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 dun. Ooh, there's phalanges everywhere. Whoa, okay. Yoink. Oh. Hey, Wretch, it's been a while. I do apologize if you're recording right now, but I recently got my PC fixed, and once my situation is figured out, and I explore all the new content, Derisity will be back sending you letters in no time. I am recording, and awesome. I was worried about Derisity. I'm glad he's doing okay. Huzzah! Swindle Gear misses his pen pal. Good, that like made my day. Okay, let's celebrate by killing some more undead. Two more, in fact. Then we'll be in good shape. Like, two of Swindle Gear's best allies in this playthrough have been uh, Derysty and Pavel. Okay. Um. Um. Eh. Whew, that was close. That was too close. Ah, there's the trash pile. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat some sun fruit. Get our health back up to full. And he is my least favorite part. You a doing? trash pile will just be a place to keep your stuff. Why you big wanna to get more stuff? Yeah, that, that's nice. I've got a shiny trinket for you, Johnny. May I always that find tribute? Here be a sign of me favor. <laughs> <coughs> I, I I figured the uh, the marks around my throat would be a sign of your favor. More resources. Okay. Good stuff. Now, yeah, let's go ahead and turn this in, and I assume that we have aberrations to kill. Crackers took it well, just sitting on my shoulder. Insert reanimated monstrosity bones to continue. And once again, you go ahead and insert them yourself. Destruction of bones will begin. Got potency manipulator. Undead levels lowered to acceptable amount. Still require method to bypass targets in order to access containment. Can uh, you tell me what an acceptable amount of undead amount to? Well, I guess under city. Scanners did not pick up evidence of corrupted energy. Must continue repairs. Cannot make the same mistake again. You have got a lot for me to do here. Not fit for this plane. Void is prohibited. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. And protocol recovery. Hmm. Alright, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. I think this may be a good place to go ahead and end the episode. I don't know if Gloom Hollow is going to have any more quests for us, but, like, as I said before, once we're done with Nazwatha. The only area of Nazmir that we have not got to is the Heart of Darkness. So, I'm very curious to see how we're going to be taking out that construct. Maybe the Titan Keeper here becomes a big old boy and they slug it out. Well, technically he's already big, but, you know. I'm not sure. But the important thing, the best thing, is that uh, we got our pen pal back. And I'll probably talk to DeRysty as soon as I am done uh, recording here. But, uh, yeah. We'll talk to the Titan Keeper and deal with some aberrations here in this pyramid in the next episode. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.